All moms are special, there's no doubt about that, but this morning we want you to meet a Texas mom, a TCU grad, who is on a mission that may very well just put her in the history books. To say your mom is out of this world, you typically don't mean it literally. But for Anna Menon's kids? They have grown up loving space. They thought for a while that our family lived in a rocket. It's a different story. I work as a SpaceX engineer when I'm not in training for, for this mission. That mission is called Polaris Dawn. It's set to take flight this summer, and the crew expected to break records in their five days in orbit. We are seeking to go to the highest Earth orbit ever flown. We are secondly seeking to perform the first commercial spacewalk or extravehicular activity, as, as NASA might call it, EVA. And then thirdly, seeking to test new communication technologies that, we'll, that we could lean upon when going to the moon and Mars someday. So how do you train to go to space? Jumping out of planes, scuba diving, mountain climbing, even flying in fighter jets. For Anna, it's a dream come true, one that started when she was just a child in Houston. When I was in third grade, I went on a field trip to NASA where we got to experience a day in the life of both an astronaut and a flight controller in mission control. And in that moment, I fell in love with the field. I said, you know, this is this is what I want to do. And she did first working with NASA and now with SpaceX. It's a passion that's a family project. Her husband is a NASA astronaut candidate and they're sharing their love with both their kids. I see them, you know, playing uh, rocket rocket imaginary games on the floor in our house and and talking and having shocking levels of understanding of the boosters and the engines and how it all works. Anna says it's her family and her history with TCU that gave her the tools to shoot for the moon. And it really provided a, a foundation that allowed me to pursue a career as a female in engineering and ultimately um, get to fly to space in this chapter. What advice would you have to anyone who wants to embark on a mission like this? You know, I think my advice would be to really think about what you love and what you are good at and use that to figure out how to inform your decisions as to how you want to contribute to this world. She hopes her sky high aspirations will inspire her kids and other young people to always keep reaching for the stars. So something else that's really special about this mission is that this is all raising money for St. Jude Children's Hospital, uh, a really great cause that uh, we wanted to let you know about. But again, um, you know, it, it's it's really cool. These are some of the pictures of the staff with St. Jude uh, with them at one of their global partners. So uh, and a little bit about the super mom. She does like to split her time between Houston and L.A. So uh, she is in training when she's not in training she gets to work from home in Houston and get some good quality time with her two and her five-year-old she's also going to be taking a little token that represents TCU and she plans to snap a picture of it in zero gravity with earth in the background I think it's a patch or a token of some sort not a hundred percent sure but we're all going to be excited to see what that is the horn frogs will love it no matter what it is and Brooke what an amazing testament uh, as we approach Mother's Day on she's a super mom oh yeah she, she is. is a super she mom. is flying high she's going to space and her kids know all about rockets and boosters and, and, and they're she, two and five <laughs> they're two and five so they have a great role model and she's also encouraging other young people yeah. to blast off in a big way in the future yep. great story